Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we're going to do what are their true intentions in love. And we have several oracle cards here, we do. And I hope you guys are all well, right? And uh, I'm getting a storyline here. I feel like you probably are like leaving somebody, kind of exiling from somebody's life. Uh, and we have this community card, it talks about exile. That's like the first thing it mentions, right? The ghost and the milk is here. These can talk. Uh, speak to somebody in the past. And this might not be you. You might be leaving a situation because your person could be maybe, uh, maybe this person uh, is <clears throat> like uh, going back to somebody <clears throat> from the past. The ghost can be kind of haunting memories. There could be somebody uh, could have some memories about somebody that they can't get over, right? Haunting, good or bad. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Uh, and, you know, the milk also can speak to somebody in the past. But you see the big picture right here. We have the giraffe. Mm -hmm. I feel like you might, this is either, this is the storyline, and I'm not sure who, uh, it could go either way in this reading, but somebody's really attracted to somebody. I feel like it's from somebody from their past. And we have uh, this confirmation here about the, re the regeneration and transformation I feel like in this reading, you are kind of you or this person you're dealing with is kind of being uh, kind of nudged to honor your own, honor your own cycles, like your own feelings, your own path. Now, like the other person, let them worry about theirs. And because we have this card over here talking about cycles and rhythms, and this is about honoring your own emotions in your body. Uh, kind of, uh, I feel like it is kind of saying, don't don't get too upset about about this situation. Honor your own, <clears throat> yeah, feelings and uh, things like that. The spirit guide is here in the fertility card, right? The spirit guide is here to kind of guide you, and that's what this card about the the cycles and the rhythms is talking about. Uh, yeah, it's talking about like uh, trust your spirit guide and honor yourself. Like, I feel like this reading is just saying, don't get too upset about this because it's not, it's not good for you. And the fertility card, you know, somebody could be kind of like growing something with somebody else. It, it's a possibility here. Let's see what we have for Pisces. We're going to get a couple cards from the Lenormand and the Kipper cards. We have the dice, the man holding the rose, the house. Mm -hmm. This is your union with this person. We have the marriage card. You're probably married to them. And the mature man. Let's keep going here. The main male and the key. So, you know, we have like uh, a married couple here. Somebody's taking a chance. I believe on somebody from the past. Like a risk. This is a risk. A major risk. Uh, it is probably seen that way. Here's the man holding the rose. And he is thinking about either somebody he loves or he is thinking about he's trying to make a decision. And the house, and this is your union with this person. The marriage, yeah, you're definitely married to this person. And the mature man is here. This person might be returning to somebody they were married to, or you are doing this. And that's what's not clear here. And for some, it's going to be either or, like, or vice versa, right? Because it's a general reading. Now, if this is a private reading, I'd be telling you, uh, of course, who's doing what. So please feel free, you guys, to swap the characters. So let's see what we have. Yeah, you see the big picture here, definitely. Let's see what we have for Pisces, please. The Two of Cups, the Tower. Yeah, and so, you know, you might be ending the situation with this person, but you're seeing, I believe you're in the Tower here, and this is ending because you see the big picture about this person, or you are ending a situation with them, and then it is really kind of a, like very shocking, or it's a big shake-up, possibly. And what's on your mind is the Queen of Pentacles. That's probably your person, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Your challenge is the Fool. See, I feel like this person is taking a chance on somebody here. The Four of Wands is what you want. This is your union you want. And we have the Queen of Cups here. And this is showing up in your fear or your, or your doubt. It could be. Let's see what we have for uh, down here. And for your person. They have the Strength card. The Sun card. I feel like this person, I mean, they could be Leo, clearly, right? But I feel like they have the clarity and the strength to, like, do what they want to do here. We have the High Priestess. This is what's on their mind. This could be you, and it could be a secret. Like, things that are kind of hidden, right? Yeah, of the subconscious. And what's, uh, their challenge is a Nine of Wands. So, you know, <coughs> 
And once again, the reading could be split uh, or switched. But their challenge is a Nine of Wands here. This is a wounded warrior, right? This is about somebody who <coughs> already has gone through a lot, a lot of maybe uh, like troubles and problems and uh, maybe grief, but this person's wearing a bandage and uh, they are trying to protect themselves because their past has already been difficult or maybe their current situation and they are concerned about the future. Like, uh-oh, I hope it, you know, kind of works out. Kind of like that. And the hermit cards here, this is in showing up right here in their hope or desire. This person could be Virgo because we have the Queen of Pentacles right here. And their fear or their doubt is the Chariot card. So in this reading, this person here is fearing here uh, that they're not going to have a victory or with somebody. Or they are fearing, Pisces, that... Uh, there won't be movement in their life. Maybe they are feeling, you know, kind of stagnant here. But <clears throat> this reading is very clear already. We don't have any clarifiers here. It's very clear. Uh, and let's look at your challenge here. We have the Fool card and the Ace of Swords. I feel like your challenge here, you might have the truth here or the clarity that this person's taking uh, a risk on somebody else. And here's the Fool underneath the dice. Like, they're really taking a chance. And let's see what is in your, your fear or your doubt here. You want your union, the Four of Wands. You want this. Like, you don't want this to go away. Your fear here is this Knight of Pentacles. Here's the Queen of Cups. You could be fearing they love somebody, or this could be you, the Queen of Cups. Let's see what else we have. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, you're fearing here that this person is, like, kind of playing you. Or you could be fearing that they have a fire sign here, Knight of Wands reversed. You could be, this could be saying you're not trusting them for sure. Uh, let's see what else. And we have the Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like what you are fearing is that this person is going to take action. Knight of Wands reversed and the Page of Swords. So let's look at their energy, Pisces, because uh, you may know entirely, you, you could, you know, you may know your own energy here, right? And this is your reading. So uh, you could be coming to this reading to see what this person is kind of up to, right? And they have the Strength card and the Sun card and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely are married to this person, most likely. The Marriage card showing up here. It's next to the house, for sure. The Mature Man, this could be this person, right? And then we have the Main Male. This right there, for me, talks about three people. And then we have another man over here, OMG. It doesn't have to be a bunch of men. It could be two women and one man. Two men and, you know, one woman, right? And let's see what else we have. They have the Eight of Wands. This person, yeah, this person has changed. That's what this is about. They're going after here. This They're going after somebody from their past with the ghost and the milk, I'm pretty sure. And they're transforming uh, a situation. What's on their mind is the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. This could be you. But what's on their mind, Pisces, is an ending. Yeah, and in their nine of wands, in their challenge, the nine of wands and the five of pentacles, I feel like this is this person is like leaving you out or you're leaving them out, right? Because of this in their challenge, but with the nine of wands, like this person here is like I feel like either they have compassion here, the challenge, like it's hard for them to leave you out, or they are being challenged that you are leaving them out, right? Yeah, the five of pentacles. Mm hmm. And uh, let's see here. And the, the hermit is showing up in their desire with the three of wands. Yeah, this person is all thinking all about their future. And they have the hermit, I mean the hermit, the, the chariot with the nine of swords reversed. Mm -hmm. They might be fearing that you are knowing what's going on. They could be afraid here that you know like what's happening here. I feel like this person, though, is more kind of worried that they're not going to have victory with somebody. I feel like they have been uh, worried about them, uh, worried about this for a long time. Nine of Swords reversed. And this Chariot card can talk about them fearing that they cannot overcome obstacles with somebody. Yeah. We also have the key here. And this key, Pisces, talks about somebody who needs to, like, in order to retrieve uh, the rose, which is love, right? 
this person has the key to the cage, but something has to be done here first in order to turn, to open the cage. Like something has to be done, like they have to break up with somebody or they have to travel far or something like that. It's like somebody has to do something in order to turn the key uh, to love, right? To have the key to this. So we're going to end this reading. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys, Pisces. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.